goodness, we got regular jerseys and stuff like that. Two things that I'm digging about this. It's matchmaking. Hopefully, it's got to be matchmaking because ain't nobody trying to stand on the court. So matchmaking, number one, and then number two, and which is, I think, the future of 2K. Matchmaking, and then we got jerseys. Hey, guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good morning out there, 2K Lab. Man, check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, man. Last night, we did a little streamy stream. Y'all talking about we was getting we was getting thoroughly waxed. So if y'all like hating on me as much as I like hating on me, go check that out, man. It's a good video. But the video from yesterday, hey, yesterday, 6,000 views, 480 likes, man. Y'all boys are the real MVPs, man. I really want to try to see if we can get to 8,000 views today and maybe 800 likes, man. Just hit the like button right now if you ain't did that, man, because only y'all can get us going to the moon. Also, man, if we do that and comment down below and you get put in the Nodi Gang Wall of Fame, man, check it out. Hey, man, look, uh, we got we, everybody. You come through, say something, talk about it, whatever you want to do, man. You are going to be up here on this joint, man. I love showing y'all off, man. I think y'all love showing it off. Hey, man, I said, Uncle Jay, wait up and tell, tell my nephew. Uh, I said, what up? To the moon. Hey, man, listen, man. Hey, nephew, what's up, bro? To the moon. Let's y'all know what it is, man. Yeah, you thought she was first. She was almost that uh, big papa bear day in the building, man. And the top comment from yesterday was this. Uh, one person says, listen, it's not variable shot time. It's just, just how it is. And then uh, my man say, say, Savage says, another shot timing I never hear or see anyone, I see, see, see or hear anyone talk about is when your feet are on the three-point line or extremely close to the three-point line, it speeds up your uh, you speeds up your shot big time. And do you know why that is? It speeds up your shot big time because the game cannot discern between whether or not you're shooting a two or a three. And the reason that I tell y'all that and how I proved that was, I have my lethal zones and I'll be shooting. And sometimes I'll miss from my lethal zones when I didn't have them set in stone. And guess what happened? I had cold spots in front of my lethal zones. my le I had missed so many shots that there's no way that I should have been able to, to, you know, there's no, I missed so many shots that there's no way that I should have had a, a cold spot on there. I mean, my lethal zone, but my lethal zone was still there. And I had two cold spots, extremely cold spots in front of, uh, in front of my three point shot where the mid range is. And it was so cold that I had to go play two of my career games and five of the street ball joints just to get it right, man. So I feel like the game, the reason the biggest issue is the game doesn't know, the game information is just inaccurate. Like we don't know, it. we don't know what it's doing. It doesn't know what it's doing. Nobody knows what it's doing, but that ain't what we here for today, man. Cause we talking about all this stuff and we gonna get right into that. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we trying to go to the moon. Nobody told you this today. Y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family. Love each and every last one of y'all. Happy Thanksgiving to y'all. And yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out. Y'all come through and uh, get 200 likes on the video right now, man. Uh, before we get to 1,500 views, we're going to drop that stream today, man. We're going to come back out that stream, the event, get some of y'all, man. We ain't fair too well because of defense, man. But listen, we're going to talk about that in one second because this is something that my boy Draymond Green, y'all know the best player in the league, Draymond Green, man. He says, hey, Asar Thompson uh, is averaging 10 rebounds and almost two blocks a game and, no, and, and, not, and not being talked about enough. That's wild. Let me guess, though. It's not points, so it doesn't matter. And that's just how it go, man. If it ain't points, people people feel like the only time uh, something is offense or whatever. My boy, Don Work chimed in. <laughs> Don Work, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop putting your hands on people. Leave that man alone, man. But listen, I just thought that was funny. But nobody cares about defense in this game. Listen. I feel like defense is one of the more important things to be worried about in the game. I feel like that's what well, part of the biggest skill gap is because shooting, eh, everybody's going to be inconsistent shooting. Everybody's going to be inconsistent with the dribbling, getting open, dunking, and all that. But the one thing that you should be able to hang your hat on is playing defense since we can't hang our hat on scoring, man. You, hey, get, in the, get out of the defense. Get out of the transition like this. Get out there, get some buckets. Somebody might get uh get uh you know play take, and then the center throw the ball down with play take. It is what it is. Up next, my boy John uh, Bridge Force says, "Hey man, some of the biggest streamers and content creators in the world right now started with 2K. The community has been, I mean, has the best community uh to make something of yourself. 
you can either complain all day about about this that and the third or you can f and suck it up grind and blow up your choice and you're right about that man i think i think not only are you right about that but a lot of people are aware of that and a lot more people are aware of that than we would even think because man a lot of people like they come through and they try to see what's the easiest community to break through in and it's always the 2k community they always come through and try to just break into the 2k community because they know i know i know people that do youtube it's one chick i forgot what her name is but she does she started out with 2k then she started doing dropping 2k videos then she started dropping like videos on soccer and stuff like that if y'all know the name y'all know what I'm saying? And, and that just blew up everybody else do age and all them guys they know you come into 2k you can garner your audience and you, you can get gone now it's, it's two two schools of thought on that if you're coming with the express you know vision to just leave then you might not make it but if you come in saying that i'm a dope content creator i'm gonna make the best content that i can possibly make and then eventually i'm gonna become too big for this and then i'll leave yeah you can probably do that because your content creativeness is is just too big to be contained by 2k but if you come in just saying i'm gonna come in do 2k blow up and then i'm out you're probably gonna have some issues and you're probably not gonna fare as as as, as uh, well as you think and i think that's what a lot of people have they just i'm just gonna come in and do it and i'm out without focusing on being the best content creator that they can be hey myself included up next we got this guy we say hey jump into the jump into poseidon's reef starting tomorrow man this is what 2k said you know it's a 5v5 event the 21 uh i think they're gonna let us wear our own clothes out there it's probably going to look like the royal rumble hopefully they have it so that you have to wear um that you gotta wear certain joints and that's what the building is they've been building since the joint the spire uh you know and then you get teleported out there and then you're hey, to, uh, poseidon's reef event thank goodness we got regular jerseys and stuff like that two things that i'm digging about this it's matchmaking hopefully it's got to be matchmaking because ain't nobody trying to stand on the court so matchmaking number one and then number two and which is i think the future of 2k matchmaking and then we got jerseys Thank goodness. It's the 21. We should be getting games back to back to back. And then this is what you stand to win right here, bro. You stand to win. Uh, like, listen, man, tier one, a highest win streak. We're not going to get that. You know, the top 25, we're not going to get that. We'll get the jersey and stuff. We're not going to get the infinite boost. Um, you know, win streak of 15. We could probably do a win streak of 15 or something like that. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, and, and get, you know, we're going to get jerseys and some boosts or whatever like that, man. But, uh, hey, win streak of three. That's cool. I just want the jersey. So you got to get 15 to get the jersey and then the 10K VC. Uh, that's cool, man. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. Do y'all think that you need, that they, we need better prizes and stuff like that? Or do y'all think that, uh, you know, it just is what it is. It's just an event. Hey, this is what <laughs> NBA 2K players are moving their Thanksgiving dinner to play the Poseidon's Reef, man. Check this out, man. My boy said, hey. <laughs> what is it hey look it's 70 people in this group chat too hey hey everyone our thanksgiving dinner is gonna have to be moved to saturday <laughs> the precise reef event is coming out on uh on 2k and it's a little bit more important than y'all on thanksgiving sorry i uh i'll see y'all on saturday for turkey and pie and is that uh, ethan how dare you <laughs> He said, how dare you uh, put the game ahead of us? That's not fair. Man, that's probably somebody regular group chat. You know, that we got to be joking or whatever. But hey, I just thought it was funny because I think that, that, you know, 2K is almost asking you to choose between them a game where I'm going to come out here and just throw up brick, bricks on bricks over that pumpkin pie. Bro, you bugging, bro. You're going to lose to my white macaroni and cheese every single time, bro. I'm not going to lie. Not to say that I'm not going to be out here because this is part of my job or whatever. I will be out here. We will be hooping and uh, everything going to be cool, man. But, you know, it, it just it, it is what it is. I'll um I'll be on and I'll be streaming and providing y'all some entertainment. But, you know, it, it, it's all good. That boy Black Cobra, he says, man, hey, I really do believe. Hey, this, this is what he was saying yesterday. And we're talking about defense. I really do believe that the actual skill gap in 2K is on defense, not shooting, not slashing, not dribbling, but individual defense. I agree with that. I concur. Uh, without relying on the steal button. I give you that. Yep, I, that's what I think, too. Uh, even in real life, a lot of a lot of the time, great offensive players weren't great defenders, but most play most people that's top 10 players of all time uh were great offensively and defensively and then so a hey, monster says bro it's hard to play defense on a game that has that has set animations that might get that might get you stuck or made uh to jump or 
those animations are let me say are those animations that get you lost etc and i mean you know i mean i agree with that but that doesn't mean you don't try and i think that's what black cobra was trying to get across he's like that's the reason why i think that this is a skill gap creating turnovers by stealing is something that the community in general deems less skillful because apparently anybody can get a steal but being able to stop your man without stealing requires a bit more iq wise that's just my opinion. I agree with you on that one, big dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like a lot of times when you you gotta get out here, I, a lot of times you're not even gonna see me hit the steal button or nothing like that, bro. You're just gonna see me bumping my guy, trying to stay in front of him, and just do just do different things to to, to play mental games with him or whatever. Sometimes if he, if he makes a bad mistake, yes, I'm gonna hit that button and get the steal. But mainly, you know what our stuff is. We play the, we play we box out. We we uh, shade. We you know we we keep people from going where they want to. I think about what he wants to do, and then you know I try to stay two steps ahead of him. Um, you know mentally, like right here, I know this guy wants to get to the middle of the floor, get to the get to the right side, because he wants to get to that screen. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna deny the screen, and then I know Brutes over there. He dribbles back into me. We get the steal, and so a lot of times you make offense, and then he can shoot that because I got Mamba, and so you know offense to defense, man. That's how it goes. But it is hard to play defense with somebody doing like this. This legacy issue, bro. Come on, man. Can we can we please stop with this, bro? It's just this. This is insane. There's too many legacy legacy issues in the game, man. And and you got this big bear, the big grizzly bear out here, just <laughs> look at the white shoe, look at the white shoe, man. Come on, man. Like like we we supposed to get 2K the benefit of the doubt. And then stuff like that is still in the game that had no business didn't there in the first place. But anyway, this is the meat of the, the, the discussion that we're talking about today. How shooting is not hard, not hard at all. And you're right. The OG Grandmaster Sensei has spoken, and we gon' hey, we just gonna talk about it. Hey, uh, we saw this in uh, All City Live TV's video yesterday, and I just wanted to speak on it. So Badgy Pluggy says, "Hey, I read a com I, I read every comment, and uh, the number one reason by far I've seen I've seen of people playing uh, of people playing 2K, uh, they're quit uh, claiming that they're quitting 2K uh, this year is shooting is too hard. And then Swante comes in, he just speaks the unmitigated truth, man. He just says, hey, shooting is not hard. Mike Wong just out there playing God. I mean, he just tuning the green window, making changes. They making changes or they're not making changes they're just because, you know, whatever. Then dude said, then become the God Slayer. And then uh, Swante says, hey, man, so you're basically telling me to plug a machine into my PlayStation to become a God Slayer. And that's what it is, man, because because we, you, you show it right here. And then, you know, like they got Zens in no squads. I told y'all this the first time, boy, a couple weeks ago. They really got the Zens in no squads. And, and they don't care because this is what people are resorting to. If we don't, I, I don't, I don't, I mean, it's just like, just like whatever. Uh, they, they, they're gonna resort to this because if I can't shoot and something is going to help me and it don't cost that much, it just is what it is. So that's what people are gonna do. They're going to, they're gonna use Zens. They're gonna do whatever they gotta do. And yeah, I mean, I guess we'll be seeing it here in a second because, because uh, I know I played against several people that's got Zens in no squads. And uh, I, I don't understand why that is or or what, it, there we go. I don't understand why it is or what it is or why people do it like that. But are you coming out here into no squads and, and just saying, hey man, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm pulling from wherever or, or pulling from deep, however you want to say it, man. But hey, like my thing is always, if you was that good, why? why are you playing no squads like like i said that that right there might not be the best indicator of somebody having a zen and no squads or whatever man but look i'm not gonna lie to you they in there i play more no squads than anybody i had to mute that video because because swan say uh, <laughs> uh look Look, Swante was saying he got a Zen, he got a Zen, but you know, I can't put I can't put Swante because he had too much uh, language in there. But listen, shooting is not hard. It's just that, that my boy, he's playing, he's playing with everybody's emotions right now, man. It is what it is. It's like, you can figure something out, but nobody can figure out ram random. That's why gambling is one is something where you'll lose your whole shirt you'll lose your whole life on it because it's just like we're playing the lottery just like you're playing roulette just like you're playing something you're going out there and shoot and like i said man i don't want y'all to get it twisted and think that that like shooting is it's like super hard or anything because i'm gonna show y'all this at the end of this game what happened um what happened right here at the end of the game bro like i think i had what how many points i had this game i had um 
yeah i had 36 points on 83 percent shooting did i show did i show the thing uh what my shot percent there we go so like i'm shooting well my biggest issue is i'm switching between bills and on my center i'm not as as focused or it just looks different on my center than my jump shot looks on my on on my regular guy but this guy had 36 points 13 to 16 and 10 for but the thing is there's no rhyme or reason to it because the next game i'll take the same shots and be wide open and it'll and the game will decide that i've hit too many shots and then i start one for three and because i start one for three now i can't hit a shot the rest of the game so it's not that it's hard it's just that it's it's just freaking impossible like you just have to accept the times that you're gonna have the bad games. And when you have those bad games, it just is what it is. You gotta just shake it off and say, hey, that was Mike and the minion. That was Mike and his minions. They got me on that one. Let's just let's just run this next one. And nine times out of ten, when you run the next one, you're gonna be fine. It's just when you have two or three bad games in a row, or somebody has taken off. Because I it's there's a lot of momentum in the game. So sometimes there's a team momentum and then you got your own momentum so your momentum might be going but the team momentum's not going and so now you can't hit a shot to save your life because this guy over here is taking two or three bad shots and now your good shot can't go in so it's just like one of those things where when that happens hey just somebody's got a pop play take and just throw it to the open dude and just let him fire away like hit me with your best shot fire away that's what you got to do man like i said it, it ain't hard it's just being adjusted constantly adjusted and it's something that you can't adjust to if there's something if there's no constant then there can be no real adjustment so when you're not hitting look listen just say it's not my game and keep going i just don't like that type of artificial difficulty man i, I would like to see them make it be difficult and then if you can figure it out you can figure it out and if you can't you can't but if you keep moving the cheese and hiding it here and moving it there and doing this nobody's ever going to be able to adapt to it a lot of people going to get turned off and i would surmise that we like if they don't make something do something pretty soon we may see the lowest numbers in 2k history but never fret we got black friday coming and if y'all if so so if y'all see it being extremely easy to shoot tomorrow and uh and on christmas then we know what time it is but black friday is coming 2k is the best marketing company in the world i guarantee that tomorrow or today, today and tomorrow, since it's Black Friday, they're gonna be those sales. I guarantee today and tomorrow will probably be the two easiest shooting year days of the year. Tomorrow, today, tomorrow, and probably Christmas. Bet me on that. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Um, hit that like button. Let's get to tw uh, 200 likes before we get to 1,500 views. I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please. Guys, please.